Hey guys, this is Derek from Pacific Coast Auto and we have a year 2000 Toyota Aristo twin turbo rear wheel drive vehicle right now in our inventory and so this video is going to be a walk around of the vehicle and the vehicle condition. So this vehicle was bought from auction and is exportable to any country worldwide. If you're interested to see what our stock vehicles are, make sure that you hit the subscribe button because all of our vehicles for sale are going to end up on this YouTube channel at some point or another. And so it's a year 2000 Toyota Aristo, comes with the Supra engine 2JZ inline six cylinder twin turbo, puts out 280 horsepower, probably a little bit more than that. Just over 100,000 kilometers on this one, has a full aero kit, 19 inch wheels, and lowered suspension. Otherwise, the vehicle is pretty much stock. Engine running condition is good. I have taken it for a test drive. It boosts up really nice. Suspension and steering is good. And uh, vehicle driving feel is good. Okay, oil and coolant are good. I did add extra oil to it because it was a little bit low, but the coolant looks to be fine. No troubles there. Close the hood here. I will go over the auction inspection sheet in just a second, but before we do that, just gonna give you a quick peek at what the vehicle looks like. Okay, so there's the aftermarket front bumper. It's actually quite low, as you can see. 19 inch wheels, side skirts and rear bumper are also aftermarket. Ah, and there's aftermarket exhaust too. Okay, I'll translate the auction sheet here and show you any of the defects that are on the car. It is an auction grade four, interior grade B, year 2000. It had 100,005 kilometers when I bought it and now it's at 100,025 kilometers. Automatic transmission, but it has shift yourself buttons on the dashboard if you want to shift through the gears. Power steering, power windows, Navi and airbag. 19 inch wheels, they are Carlson brand, which is typically what you would find on a Mercedes. And the wheels, the wheels have a lot of scrapes, and I'm gonna show you in a second about those. Lowered car, aftermarket aero parts, exhaust. And this is talking about the Navi, but that doesn't matter very much because uh, the Navi is, um, it won't work outside of the country. It just says uh, the Navi ROM is going to be sent to you. Auction inspector's report, dashboard glue marks, interior wear and dirty, wheels scraped, door mirror scratched, rear panel underside dented. Looking at the body here, we have an A2 scratch here. AU2 on this corner, both on the panel and the bumper there. Paint cracks, oh, paint cracks on the rear bumper and an A3Y1 on this side skirt cover. So I'll go once around the vehicle, then I'll show those damages. Now, if you're interested in the price, it's going to be listed in the description there. Body all the way around is pretty clean. All the damaged parts are mild. And this vehicle was picked because it's something that I would like to own myself. It's a very comfortable cruising car with lots of power, lots of room inside for a sedan and good looks. The exhaust is uh, fairly quiet from inside the car because the sound deadening on this is pretty good. It does sound nice, listen. That's aftermarket. The standard exhaust on this is a dual exhaust, but this is uh, nice bigger pipes and it's not annoyingly loud. Okay. It is a Vertex Edition. One of my subscribers told me that the Vertex Edition also has four wheel steering, which is something I didn't realize that this car had. Some people were wondering what the Vertex Edition entails. The suspension is firm but it's not annoyingly so. And the fitment to the wheels is nice. Side panels are very good and condition of the paint is nice. Okay, defects. First I'll go over the wheels. Damage here and down here. Now the wheels are pretty bad. They could be refinished, 
or repainted. They look like they have been uh, sanded down already. And this area here has some sort of aluminum tape on top of what looks like it's probably corrosion. It does come with the uh, uh, lock nut for the wheels. Scrape here and down there. And I think a 19 inch wheel looks great on this vehicle. And so whether you restore these ones, keep them as is, or uh, switch to some other 19 inch wheels, I think it's a good look. Okay, the A3 and Y1 on here. Here's the Y1. And the A3 is here. Now I've got pictures of those and you can check out the picture report if you want. The rear bumper is a skin that goes on top of the regular rear bumper. And you can see it's come off of its glue here. Same thing on the other side, but this side's worse. Okay, there's some paint damage here. And that's the AU1. And I'll show you on the other side here as well. There are a couple of minor scratches here and some paint cracks around this corner. Okay, tail lights and headlights are both clean and unfoggy. Front grille is a TRD unit. And it's a bit scratched up, but uh, not so bad. And the front bumper I think is a good look, especially when you compare it to a regular Aristo. I think that's a good looking car. Okay, to the interior now. Interior doesn't really have any problems except for a little bit of glue marks on the dashboard. Power windows have been checked and they work. AC works, steering feel is good, brakes are fine, no pulsation in the pedals. It's nice to be able to test drive the vehicles. This is the non-leather version, and for me that's the ideal one because I'm not a big fan of leather seats. But there are power seats and they work, as well as lumbar support there. Steering wheel is in great shape. 126 kilometers there. Steering wheel is power tilt and telescoping. AC is in a touch screen here. Right now it says the ROM disc isn't in there. That will go away once you put the ROM disc in, but the maps won't work outside of Japan. Touch this button here for AC. And you can choose where you put the AC and how powerful you want it via these buttons. These screens sometimes stop working, but this one works fine. And it's dual zone, so different temperatures left and right. JBL audio with lots of speakers all the way around. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's a sub in the back, I believe, as well. Folding mirrors work. Generally pretty clean inside. Doesn't have any nasty smells in the car. Let's open the trunk and go into the back seat. So door cards, good. Back seat, good. Cup holders, and your own little back seat air vents there. Have a look at this. And the trunk. So it has the Toyota original floor mat. I have never seen this one before, so that's cool to have that. It is a bit dirty inside here. Spare tires underneath, and spare tires the original 16 inch. Okay, now this vehicle is going to go up on the channel and then basically a week later, where I'm going to send it to Canada. I have two cars that have to make it to Canada. This, this car and then early next week, I'm going to be shooting 
two more cars and then anything uh, that doesn't sell I'll probably send to Canada and then have a friend of mine sell it there uh, because I have two spaces for a container I need to fill because I have two cars already to go and we want to send those out right away. So if anyone wants this now, the price is going to be cheaper here than when it lands in Canada if you're a Canadian and so jump on that now. Uh, we can also send to any other country as long as it's legal for import. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.